very help of Christian's model of holiness. Mary is mother and teacher. She supports us so that we can fly on our way to holiness. In this call, which is simple and accessible to all, the difference lies in that extra push that comes from true devotion. That is, the exchange of effective and effective love with Mary, which encourages us to grow continuously in the love of God and neighbor. Mary is the most perfect and holy model. Carissimi membri della nostra famiglia. Dear members of the Salesian family and young people, in this novena to Mary Help of Christians, I would like to give you a secret of holiness, indeed Mary's secret. This secret is not something inaccessible or reserved for a select few. It is something that we can experience in our everyday actions, in the most ordinary things of life. It is a gift, a grace, that we can ask directly from the Holy Spirit and from Mary herself. Yes, God wants you to become holy to reach the fullness of life in this life and to be glorious beside Him in eternity. Holiness is not a privilege reserved for the few, but a universal call, a vocation for each of us. This means that every thought Every word, every action, every suffering, every aspiration must be directed toward God. There's no reason to be afraid if you allow God to dwell in you. His love will transform your life into a masterpiece of holiness. The path to holiness is marked by the Gospel of Jesus, who asks us for humility of heart, constant prayer, self-denial, trust in divine providence, and obedience to God's will. It is not about volunteer efforts, or self-improvement, but rather about welcoming God's grace and help with humility and trust. And to do this, it is essential to find Mary. It is Mary who guides us, accompanies us along this path of holiness. So, dear friends, do not be afraid to aspire to holiness. Open your hearts to God's grace. Let yourselves be shaped by His love and entrust yourselves to the motherly intercession of Mary, help of Christians. May this novena be a moment of deep reflection and sincere conversion for us, so that we can walk safely on the path of holiness. Sulla strada della santità. My name is Teresita Ferretti. I was born on the 9th of August 1939. In other words, 84 years ago and I was born here in La Plata. We are in our beautiful chapel in the Colegio Maria Auxiliadora de la Plata. Well, in order to tell you about my dreams, I have to take you on a tour back to where it all began. 
It is true that Don Bosco dreamed, and other dreams came from his great dream. But there was someone who dreamed before Don Bosco, and that was God. And he thought of each of us, you here, you over there, everyone. In fourth year, when I was 14, I said I wanted to be a teacher. I passed fourth and fifth senior school, graduated, then ended up in the Casa de Bernal. Because here, and for me this is the key, I met Sister Beatriz Rodriguez, a sister who I loved very much, who looked after us, gave us advice, forward-looking advice, because her advice is still valid today. Then one day I said, I want to be like you. My dream is to be like you. She said to me, do you want to be a sister? I said, I want to be like you. Then the sister called my mother and told her that, 62 years ago, right in front of the door through which we entered the same pews that we find here today. And my mother, when the sister told her that I wanted to become a religious sister and a daughter of Mary Help of Christians, my mother's reply was as follows, which I am telling you in memory of her. She told me, I do not want you to reproach me when you grow up for not having been happy because of me. But you will come back here in a month's time because you will not submit to others who tell you what to do. She turned and left. This was my farewell on the 7th of December 1955 at the height of the Peron era. Well, my dreams were coming true, but still while being a sister, a daughter of Mary, help of Christians, I had another dream. I felt that the spirituality that I wanted to carry out did not suit me very well. I don't know if it was because I am not that much of a prayer. I pray, but I also also say to Jesus, Don Bosco said that work is also prayer. I have always worked hard, with great enthusiasm, much love, but I knew that I was trying to balance on a tight rope at that point of my spirituality, until I had truly, I think I realized my dream, that God put me in touch with a great friend who is still alive. A great friend told me about an integral spirituality that starts from desires, affection and prayer. It is as if the dream was coming clearer and clearer to me. I wanted to do everything I was doing, but I also wanted to progress spiritually as a daughter of Mary, help of Christians. I had another mentality of spirituality where everything corporeal was time, it was worthless. I considered those people who separate the body from the spirit as dead, as mutilated, as sick. And it was precisely this spirituality that made me discover that I gave him, God, the best of what I could have enjoyed the most in the world, and I want to continue to give it to him until the end. If it weren't for him, nothing I do would make sense, not even to have left my mother by herself, not to have studied like I did, not to have done all the journeys, the retreats, the lessons, all the love I give myself would not make sense if it weren't for him. It would be exhausting, let's say, if it ended, because human love seems to me to last less and less. I mean, I don't know if I would have been able to do all this if I hadn't given the first kiss of fidelity to God. 62 years ago, I made my first vows. Before then, I had to do a long period of formation. For me it was hard, but I would choose it anyway, because I'm happy to have given my whole life to God, through young people. I unite myself to God's call, I unite myself to young people, and especially to adults. I would choose to do it again without any doubt. The kids are very receptive, more than they think. They don't look like it, but they are. You win them by simply taking an interest in them. If you love them, if you show interest in them, they open up to you like a flower. They open up their heart to you. They tell you everything they think, what they feel, and then they thank you. I'm actually grateful because I learn a lot from them. Even the jargon they use, sometimes I don't know what this or that means and I ask them, what's that? And then I am able to reach them and this surprises them. And when they are surprised it makes them want to talk and it's a good strategy for me. Today my dream is to remain faithful until the end to that Jesus to whom I have given my whole life. Blessed Virgin Mary, 
woman of wisdom and first disciple of Jesus, in the silence of your heart you receive the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Full of divine grace, you conceive the Son of God in your womb. Help us to journey as you did along the path of humble obedience to God's will, making our own the Spirit's call to holiness. Open our hearts to God's grace so that our thoughts, our words, and our daily actions might all be inspired by and directed towards God. Amen.